Hello everyone and welcome once again to the Word of Faith coming to you live from Northgate. We thank God that you are able to engage with us on this platform. Today our reading will come from Matthew chapter 18 from verse 21 to verse 35. The Bible says, when Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven, but not seven times, but seventy times seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had to be sold to repay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before his master. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But then the servant went out. He found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said, I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant? In his anger, the master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. Then Jesus says, this is how the heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. Our topic today is forgiveness. And this is one of the hurdles that has caused many people to stagnate in their Christian work. Most, most families are struggling because of unforgiveness. The scriptures before us today tell us of a time when the disciples come to Jesus, but Peter comes to him and asks him, how many times must I forgive a brother who offends me? And Jesus tells him, Peter, you think it's seven times, but I tell you, forgive 70 times, seven times. And what Jesus, I believe, was trying to tell Peter that our forgiveness is not a matter of arithmetic calculation, but it should be unconditional. Our forgiveness towards those who offend us and wrong us should not be a matter of burying the hatchet, but to leave a marker where you, you buried the hatchet. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, the Bible says. Now, Jesus is giving us an example and he says, this one man owed a lot of money to his master. But then the master cancels all the debt. Then this guy just goes and finds his fellow servant who owed him a negligible amount. And he, the servant uses the same, same words. And he tells him, I beg you, be patient with me. I will repay. Instead of exercising that same mercy, this guy has his fellow servant thrown into prison. And because of that, the fellow servants who are watching, they were pained and they were grieved. And they went and told the master what had happened. What then the master does is that he throws him into prison until he would pay all the debt. Then Jesus says this, that this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. Is there anyone that you are holding a grudge against? Is there anyone that you're not forgiving? You have decided to say that, I know I am forgiven as a Christian. I know that I am going to heaven, but whatever they did to me, that one is unforgivable. Remember, Christ Jesus forgave you of all your sins. It did not matter what you did. Whatever people have done to you, whatever people have done to me, let us be willing and ready to forgive. Because the Bible says that if we do not forgive men their trespasses against us, then the Father will also not forgive us our trespasses. And that means that our forgiveness from the Father is a, is a prerequisite. We have to forgive others 
before God can forgive us. So my prayer is that forgive everyone that has wronged you. Forgive them. No questions asked. You don't, you don't have to ask them for, to apologize to you. Just forgive. And the other person you need to forgive is yourself. The mistakes, the blunders that you have made in life. Forgive yourself. Come back to the cross. Come to Christ and let him help you forgive. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. And we bless you this day because you forgave us of our sins. You have allowed us to experience the forgiveness that comes with having a relationship with you. I pray for myself. I pray for my viewer. And I ask, O oh Lord, help us to forgive. Help us to be willing and ready to yield to that conviction of the Holy Spirit which tells us, forgive even if there is no apology. Forgive that you may go to the next level. Dear Jesus, may these words that we have read today not be spoken of us, that we are the unforgiving servant, we are the unmerciful servant. When we look at the cross and see how you forgave us, Jehovah Lord, we can only but forgive our dear fellow brothers and sisters of their trespasses against us. Help us in this matter because we have prayed, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.